Hey everyone, Magic Lover recording a little Commander one on one action. Playing my slightly revamped Gave Guru Spores deck against, ooh, someone I've never seen before, Vela the Nightclad. Okay, uh, let's see what I got. Two lands, two drop, three drop, three drop. And my favorite card of all time, so I will keep it and just hope I draw at least one more land in the first couple turns. It's usually. Not too much to expect. And yeah, well. Happy with that draw. As long as it doesn't get countered. If I eat a negate here, I'll be relatively peeved. I'm gonna go for Well since I got the grave pack there. I'm gonna go for the overgrown tomb. It lands, that makes me a very happy camper. This being one of the favorite cards, most efficient cards in the deck. Huh. There's the land we were looking for, so we're at four. Oh, I can get Grave Pack down. You know what? I'm going to give that a shot. I think that's good value right now because if I land that, don't draw another land. Um, I start playing things, and if he kills him, it costs him. So I think I'll go for Lingering Souls next. And you got the draw off it. Nothing I can do about that. Hopefully, he plays something. There we go. I did draw the other land. I'm happy with that. Okay. So I can get out... Let's get the Recluse out. Let's get... Lingering Souls out. I like that. Okay. Now, I could have gone for Ultra Value Town. But I didn't want to stop him from drawing cards. I wanted more than one creature. Um, I will probably try to land the doubling season next turn, depending on what he does. But if I can put doubling season down, then go for Gave. Uh, I think I'm in pretty good shape. I'll probably hold Glissa back in hand as a uh, you know if he puts some sort of sweeper on me. I mean, with black, you never discount. Looks like he's mostly blue, but he's got black in there, so I can expect a damnation or some sort of uh, sweeper. I draw the land. I've drawn out of my two land opener. Excuse me, quite nicely. Um, yeah, so I'm betting he wants to counter my five or six drop here. Hmm. If that's the case, I might actually just try to bait him with... Uh, I could start going tick up. Let's try... I'm going to use Glissa's bait here. Gonna see if that draws a counter, which it looks like it will. I'm happy with that. <laughs> I will I will not discard my hand, thank you. I will go for lingering souls. And I know I didn't get maximum value out of that lingering souls, but at this point, um, I'm fine with using her as a uh, as a bait to get my critters out. Going for his commander, yeah, there we go. So what can I block it with? 
Not much. Okay, but he's tapped out. So that means uh, Gabe can come down. I might just do that. One, two, three, four, five. Jeez. Oh, I think I need to get Gabe down while he's tapped. Again, being very conservative on my doubling season here. And since I can't block with him, might as well just start racing. He's got a full grip. Hasn't missed a land drop, it doesn't look like either. I can make him sack one at the cost of one of my critters. Hmm. No, I'm actually not going to do it because he's untapped and he's going to steal that. So that's my last critter. I'll let him draw one. I'll live with that. Hoping to see. Ooh, wow. That's saucy. So I might use doubling season to bait Cathar's Crusade. Um Man, jeez, I think I'm gonna do that. Okay. I'm actually going to keep him back because if my plan goes the way I want it to, ooh, it lands. Oh boy. Okay. Um. I think I'm in real good shape here. I'll sack him and him to put counters on my other two flyers. Maybe in response to this, we'll see. Get uh, two counters on him. Make him a 3-4, that'd be nice. Now, do I do the other one? No, I don't think I do. What I really fear here is the control magic. I don't want him controlling Gabe, me not having access to him. Because worst case, he tries to control him, I sack him in response and uh, get him back next turn with doubling season out. Yeah, there's the damnation. There we go. Um, doesn't matter what to do. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, do I go for it? Do I go for the killer combo? Yeah, he's tapped out. I'm gonna plunk Cathar's Crusade down. Oh, that actually helps. Yeah, gotta do it. Got 
to do it. I don't think I've... Oh, yeah, no, I've lost one game that I had doubling season in Cathar's Crusade out. It can get crazy. He's gonna... He's gonna tap me here, draw a card. It's a bummer. So you're saying you don't want me targeting your creatures. Okie doke. Lazav. Fun guy to have in a mill deck. Two of his remaining cards. He's probably got counters, so I'm going to have to find them. So... That was unfortunate. I think I had him pretty well locked up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hopefully. That's a nice one. I'll take that. Wow. So Gabe comes into play with 12 counters on him. God, I love... Love my 5 mana do-nothing enchantments. That's fine. Eh. Doesn't prevent you from sacking. Dark Steel Plate. This guy loves his equipment. Still gonna block your ass. Yeah, okay. Um That's a bummer. He'll draw a card. But you know what? I'm pretty sure that I've got this locked up. Cause I'm gonna create a lot of critters here and it's gonna do bad things. Yeah. Two mana, and I just created whatever ridiculousness. Two, three, four, five. Left up enough to do that. Ooh, I like it. And. I can make him sack both and do lethal. Yeah, I think that's going to be the, uh... Yep. Yep, that was the way to do it. So he was going to sack both and do stupid amounts. So I think that's a good example of what these two do on the same battlefield. Of course, that didn't hurt, but... RAR. Big Fungus. What else is it going to pick up? Oh, nothing crazy, but that would have been disgusting. Anyway, thanks for watching.